Armor, through the ages, has protected our soldiers from harm on the battlefield. My opinion is that out of all armor, through all time, medieval armor is the most exciting. Not only do I find it exciting, but Hollywood seems to be infatuated with the idea of knights riding on top of horses in shining armor. Or maybe that's just women. There are three different types of armor I'll be talking about today. Plate armor, cloth armor, and male armor. No, male armor does not just belong to males. It is actually a type of armor made out of a series of rings connected together. This is not actually male armor, but since I didn't have time to actually make real male armor, this was all I got. However, male armor was quite similar to this. It was just chains of rings linked together in a sort of interwoven pattern. Cloth armor is the most simplest kind of armor. It's basically just padded cloth. It was probably the first form of quilting, however, because you quilted canvas together with other material. Often worn with cloth armor was leather armor, which had two varieties, one which was boiled till it hardened, and one that had metal implants. Together, the cloth and leather armor was not nearly as protective as the mail armor or even the plate armor, but for the common man who couldn't afford either of those other types of armor, it was helpful because it did protect the wearer from all sorts of cuts, bruising, and, you know, limb loss. The most complicated and most expensive form of armor was plate armor. This is a horrible representation, but since I don't have full suits of armor laying around my house, this was the best I could come up with. The front plate is called the breastplate, the back's called the back plate. The wonderful thing I'm wearing on my head is called a helmet. Um, there were many other pieces of the plate armor. The tinfoil on my arms represent the van braces, which would protect the forearms. The pieces on my feet represent the sabatons, which would protect the feet from harm. There was also the pauldron, which would protect the shoulder. The tacit, which would protect the upper thighs. There were gauntlets, which would protect the hands. And there were gorgets, which would protect the neck. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed learning about medieval armor as much as I did.